but you guys in on a little bit of a secret that I've been holding back from telling anyone for the last 10 years. A little trick of the trade. I'm sure, like, I know that a lot of other people know about it, but if you're not in the industry, you really don't know. So, I've got, like, tons of jets, like, jets from all different manufacturers. And when I say jets, I mean fuel jets. Like, here's a Honda Ruckus carburetor with a main jet in it. Well, this main jet is not the same as a jet found in a Yamaha Zuma. There's so many different jets on the market, different styles and shapes. Like this shape here is going to be the same as like a Kian, OKO, PWK, a Makuni. They're all different styles. They're small round, big round, literally. There's probably, if I just had to guess, like 30 different styles of jets, maybe even more, which as a shop owner requires me to carry a ton of different jets. Like, 10 years ago, I got sick of doing that. It got really expensive, and there was a lot of jets that I didn't use. So I bought a set of these furnace drills, which was really expensive, like 200 bucks for this, these drills. For Joe Schmo in his garage that just likes to tune, and it's not, that's not what they do for a living, that's too expensive. But the idea here is instead of buying, you're guessing when you buy jets, the idea here is to buy you know, say your jet's an 80 from stock, you're going to buy an 81, 82, 83. You're going to buy a ton of them, and then you're going to do trial and error to try to figure out which one. Which means that there's a lot of those jets that you bought that are just going to sit in a drawer somewhere when you're done. It's kind of wasteful. So with these jet drills, you drill the hole larger, a little bit larger, instead of changing the, the jets. Just keep going. And guess what? Sometimes you go too big, and uh, you got to solder it shut, all the way shut, and then you drill smaller again. Let me show you the kit that I have in motion here. Here's the kit you get. It's gonna come with the jet drills, the hand drill, and a two inch piece of solder. So let's just start with like a Honda Ruckus carburetor. So Honda Ruckus carburetor, if you pull the jet out, the stock jet, this thing slides down. See this, uh, see these like, all these little numbers? you pull out your little drill bit like that and what you're doing is you're figuring out where to start so I'm gonna slide that in that's like a perfect fit there's not a lot of wiggle and it fits perfectly so if I want to go one size bigger instead of going from this jet is a 75 say I wanted to go to like to 78 instead of buying this jet or like a brand new jet like this all I'm doing is taking a uh, drill bit, slide it over one notch, pull that drill out. You notice that won't sl slip through there. So what I'm going to do is take my little hand drill and start drilling. Okay, so now I essentially have a 78 jet. Now these numbers that are on this, um, this little pack don't correspond with the number on the jet. That's where it's a little bit confusing because you're not going by the number on the jet anymore and you are going by the jet drills. Say I go too big. Well, the kit comes with a piece of solder so what I'm going to do, cut a tiny little piece. I just dropped a piece of solder down in there and then you can take your torch. As you can notice this solder is about to melt. There it went. I'm going to let this cool off. When the jet is completely sealed with solder, it makes it kind of difficult to just use a hand drill. So let me show you an easy solution. You would only use this to enlarge the size of that uh, jet. You can take your, your jet and instead of using the hand drill, you can just hold this and then I could, it's drilling through this jet drill got through. So now I'm back to square one on the jet that I uh, started drilling out. Instead of you buying like this and this, all these different sizes, you buy this. This is the jet drill kit and I can pretty much work on any scooter I want with just this this jet drill and if I go too big I've got some solder 
to drill it shut.